Larry and Rachel gave some very important messages in their comments. And today I'm going to bring a message from nurses. And it's from it's a declaration by the Canadian Nurses Association. Canada's registered nurses are deeply concerned by the cuts to Canada's environmental health and social systems being imposed by the federal government through its omnibus budget implementation bill. The Canadian Nurses Association believes action must be taken to prevent the systematic dismantling of income security programs, environmental protection measures, and investments in health. And as such, declares that Registered Nurses of Canada will speak out to protect the integrity of essential programs. The Canadian Nurses Association also declares that it will join with nurses in speaking out against these regressive cuts to our social and environmental protections so essential to the health and wellness of Canadians. And it calls upon federal members of Parliament and Senators to oppose these irresponsible program cuts. The federal government has moved quickly to pass Bill C-38 the Omnibus Budget Implementation Bill entitled the Jobs, Growth and Long-Term Long Prosperity Act. What a joke. Rather than ensure the sustainability of Canada's social and environmental protection, this bill reduces funding and oversight. These reductions will only lead to larger and costlier problems for Canadians and their governments in the future. If passed, this legislation will, one, officially withdraw Canada from the Kyoto Protocol, reducing the federal government's obligations to monitor and report on social change policies. Two, raise by two years the qualifying age for old age security and the guaranteed, guaranteed income supplement, increasing real poverty levels among Canadian seniors and the reliance on provincial and territorial income security supports. Three, implement new employment insurance regulations <clears throat> that will require claimants to accept jobs at lower wages and at greater geographical distances from their homes. Four, reduce investments in food safety and, in, and security through cuts to the Canada Food Inspection Agency and eliminate enforcement of the Product of Canada label. Five, will amend the Employment Equity Act by eliminating the requirement that federal contractors apply employment equity provisions designed to protect groups that have experienced discrimination, including women, Aboriginal people, visible minorities, and persons with disability. disabilities. Six, will dismantle environmental regulations and review processes, processes now in place by concentrating their oversight into the hands of ministers and provincial and territorial bodies. Such action will open the door to rapid approval of large-scale projects with environmental impact assessments without environmental impact assessments and without regard to obligation to First Nation treaty and aborig Aboriginal rights. To protect the health of our nation, the nurses of Canada call upon the public and governments to take action by speaking out against this damaging bill which will change the face of health. This week in Vancouver, the Canadian Nurses Association released their National Expert Commission report. This report, in addition to calling on the federal government to show leadership, called for national programs such as home care, pharmacare, and palliative care, and asked that governments at all levels consider their policies and legislative changes with a health lens. I suggest to you that this legislation not only lacks a health lens, it lacks vision at all. It is totally blind to the needs of Canadians and Albertans. As I was thinking about today and what this bill means to us here in this province and to Canadians across Canada, I was thought of that, that, that poem or that, that um, um, quote that's attributed to uh, Martin Niemöller. You know the one, first they came, in this case, first they came for the unemployed, they came for immigrants. In reality, they are coming for all of us. And it is time, time is now for Canadians to say, we're not going to take it. Thank you.